Okay, so this is going to be rather crude, but I want to show you a little bit of what I've been doing with batteries. I've been kind of having fun building batteries and going on YouTube to find out all the different types of electrolytes. I've used just about everything. You know, they got the acetone, the alum, the magnesium sulfate, the new salt, um, and then plain salt, all different kinds of things. And I've been kind of building the aluminum batteries. My goal is to build a little um, manned vehicle that's similar to this little thing you can get from China. It's got a little motor and a little solar panel, but I want to be able to just power with some homemade batteries. And I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking all the different aluminum cans you have, where we can figure out something strong enough to do that. I um, played around with some of these um, batteries over here that are they're concrete um, batteries, and I'm actually getting, if you notice, I'm getting about four and a half, four point eight volts out of uh, five of them in series there, and so it's been kind of fun. But uh, of all the different electrolyte solutions I've used, uh, last night I played around with one and I came up with one that uh, I'm going to show you. It's a little secret. I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video, but it is hidden inside here, and. Uh, I'll just show you, just here's one little film of just one little piece of aluminum with paper towel with that electrolyte and some carbon. And uh, I'll show you what kind of voltage I'm getting out of this just little thing. And this has been sitting around for a couple days. But uh, you can see that voltage there. Just out of that little battery. Let's go the other way. I'm getting about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 volts. You know, about three quarters of a volt out of that little little thing. And uh, the electrolyte solution just seemed to be, well, it's been the best of anything I've experimented with so far. And it is just a simple household product. Uh, so um, now I'm going to reveal to you what that electrolyte solution is. And this is kind of weird, but on a whim, I just uh, decided to grab it. And um, that's what it is. It's the old Colgate fluoride toothpaste. And so I'm going to make a little battery here. And the goal would be to see if I can get it to run this little little motor. That's a solar motor. Of course, the sun's not out right now. I love these little Chinese things. They put together and for a couple bucks you can buy these and they're complete kits and got little motors and solar panels and everything so it's pretty amazing but all I did was take a cut a little piece of aluminum of course we made the tab up here for the uh, terminal and uh, just coated it with some fluoride and uh, put my glove on here for that Kind of get her all over it. Then cover it with I'll throw some more on here. And we'll sprinkle some activated charcoal on top of that. This one I'm going to make a little bit bigger. I'm just going to see if I can get a little more amps. And we'll see what kind of volts we can get out of this. But uh, I've taken some activated charcoal over there. And I've 
ran it through my coffee grinder. So this is just activated charcoal in smaller chunks. And uh, now we're going to press that in there. Press that down. See if we can have a good tell. Do that. It'll be a little here. And I'll put another little piece of aluminum for a terminal. I'll stick that out this side. Now I'm just going to fold that aluminum on up. Let's go back to a little bit smaller here. And just for the fun of it, let's check that hole here. in here. About point nine almost a volt. Nine six, nine seven. And it seems the increase when you press it in. And then just for fun to seal it up. I've come up with another household thing. I will um, use the old instant hot cocoa mix bag. It's going to make me a hot cocoa here. We'll set that aside here. Kind of wipe this out a little bit. I uh, know you're not supposed to have any impurity or something, but hey, this is household stuff. I ended up getting this really nice little um, sealer online. I'll kind of show you it. It's one of these little things that you can actually seal up any polyethylene or poly tubing here, like this effort bag and thing. You just pretty pretty unique. Let's see if I can seal it with that. Yeah, I made that a little too wide, didn't I? Well, we're not going to be able to do that. But anyway, you can take this and I'll show you. If you just get your bag and get your battery in there and then just press that down until the light goes out. And then you're all sealed. So, that's what I've been sealing my batteries. And I made a few different kinds here. That one actually came out uh, pretty darn good. I got about nearly a volt out of that little one, too. So, I don't know if it'll run this little, I don't know if the amps are enough to run this little motor here. Let's check it out. Not quite enough yet. Anyway, that's kind of it.